Hi there. In today's video, I am going to share with you my review about Active Presenter, an e-learning authoring tool of Atomy Systems. This is everything you need to know about this software. Let's getting started now. If you have not installed Active Presenter on your computer, go ahead to Atomy Systems homepage. Find the download package there. Alternatively, check the link in the description box below. When you finish the installation and launch the program, this is the start page of Active Presenter. Before diving into the detail features, I will quickly explain what you have on this page. The top left corner of the window is where you can access Active Presenter's functions. Here you can create a new blank project, record a video from your computer screen, make a software simulation, or create a responsive e-learning project. On the right side are pre-built templates and example courses as well as the help page where you can access and download PDF operational tutorial of the project, check for update, read the information about the program and go to support community if you want. Project settings can be found at the bottom of the window. Alright, that's some pieces of information about the start page. Now let's learn how to use Active Presenter effectively. Let's say you want to record what's happening on your computer's screen with audio and webcam. There are two ways you can do that with Active Presenter. The first way is to go directly to the record screen feature on the start page. Alternatively, you can create a blank project, go to slide, and choose record video from the toolbar menu. In both cases, a floating toolbar will appear. Here you can choose full screen, customized area, or a locked application such as a running program or a web browser. Added to that, Active Presenter also lets you record your integrated webcam and audio as I mentioned earlier. This little setting icon will give you some more control of your recording such as the video frame rate, cursor settings and the hotkeys. Alright, now I will hit record button and let's see what happening. After the countdown, everything happening on your computer's screen will be recorded. When you are finished, Use the hotkey Ctrl N to stop the recording, or you can find Active Presenter icon at the notification area. Once you stop the recording, you will be redirected to the main working space of Active Presenter. Here you can do so many things more with your recording. Honestly speaking, this is the most awesome part of Active Presenter in my opinion. By the way, if you think your recording is perfect, you can just export it into a video format. With Active Presenter Free Edition, you are able to export your video into MP4. AVI, MKV and WebM without watermark, or time limit on these outputs. Here is the result of the recording. Alright, let's check out other features of Active Presenter. Making software simulation is an important feature of Active Presenter, that makes it stand out compared to other simple screen recorder, and video editor on the market nowadays. This feature is useful when it comes to making interactive training videos, or e-learning courses where your viewers can interact with your tutorial, practice the steps and so on. If you wanted to figure out what software simulation is, just google it. Take a look at this tutorial from Atomy Systems to see how this feature works. How to record software simulations On the start page of the application, click record software simulation. Then you'll see a blue rectangle and a crosshair in the middle of it, and the Record Software Simulation project dialog with many options. The blue rectangle indicates the capture area, and the actions happening inside of it will be recorded. You can resize the rectangle and move it to anywhere on the screen. You can also change the capture area size from the size section in this dialog. Just enter values in the size box or select one from the presets. Besides, to record the entire screen, click Full Screen. Click Lock to Application to make the blue rectangle follow the target software. If the recorded application doesn't stay still while recording, you should select this option. Here's where you can change the lock mode. You can let the application fit into the blue rectangle or vice versa. Select the target application to lock. Next, click the Audio button to turn the audio recording mode on. You can record both audio from microphone and system audio. Drag the volume scale to change the recording volume. Since the recorded audio file is placed onto different slices, you should record narration when the recording is finished. This makes it easier for you to edit the audio. When you click this settings button, 
You can choose to show or hide the capture area and the recording toolbar. You can also carry the audio input and have many settings on the recording settings dialog. However, they will be discussed in other video tutorials. Now take a look at the recording toolbar. This section shows some project statistics which vary during the recording. The mode will be video if you scroll the mouse or carry drag and drop action. Otherwise, IT Presenter will switch back to the slide mode. Frame shows the current frame number of the recording project, and dropped is the number of missed frames of the recorded video. You can know how long the recording project is in the duration section. If you record audio, the audio section lets you know the recording sound level. Besides, these three buttons are to pause, stop, and discard the recording. You can also press Ctrl and N to stop recording. Now I'll move this toolbar outside the capture area so that it won't be recorded. After on the preparation and settings, click the record button to start. All the actions that you perform with the target software will be recorded. I'm demonstrating how to insert a smart chart in Microsoft PowerPoint. When you finish, Press Ctrl and N, and you will have a project with slices containing the steps that you've carried like this. You are free to edit the auto-generated annotations. You can also change their position if they are not in the right place. The tag of the annotation is editable. You can also increase or decrease the clickable area size. Now let's preview the output. As you can see, hint messages appear telling how users are doing. Clicking on the right position will take them to the next step of the procedure. Finally, export the project to HTML5 when you are done the editing. It's the ultimate output for the simulations that require user interactions. Select the operation modes to export. You can export the project to SCOM or XAPI if needed. That's how to record software simulations with Active Presenter 7. Stay tuned for the upcoming video tutorials, and thank you for watching. Alright, I hope you are clear about the tutorial for Matami Systems. Let's quickly go through the last feature of Active Presenter I want to mention in today's video creating fully responsive e learning courses. As I mentioned earlier, there are templates and samples at the start page. These samples are downloadable. If you want to see more samples, go ahead to Atomy's homepage, download a package and test it on your computer. Here is the important information you need to know. If you want to create e-learning content which need to be in HTML5 or SCORM and Zappy compatible, you will need to purchase Active Presenter Professional License. It's $399 for lifetime. For those of who make YouTube videos, online training videos, product demonstrations, you only need its standard license to use for commercial purposes. For free user, just happy with MP4 and AVI export options. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next advanced tutorial about Active Presenter. If you are new here, consider to subscribe to my channel to watch more tutorial like this one. Bye for now.